I guess we get a little crazy tonight. I guess we could get a little crazy tonight, you guys. Because I got some things to say. I got a response tonight. Yeah, it's like pay-per-view tonight. And for everybody out there, for everybody out there watching, guys, my apologies. My apologies. The store ran out. The store ran out. They had nothing else. So I actually had to get Coors Light. I'm, a, I'm an actual beer drinker. I'm a guy who drinks beer. So guys, feel free to make your jokes. Throw your jokes out there. Get the jokes out of your system. But it's all the store had tonight. So it's what I had to get. You know, I'd never spend my hard-earned money on Coors. Unless I, uh, you know, was purchasing it for a female. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Gully TV is the type of dude to drink a Coors Light beer, though. I'm just letting y'all know. My apologies. The store ran out. It is what it is. Gully TV is the type to drink a Coors Light beer. I, you know, I, I'm the type of dude I can make fun of myself. Gully TV can't clown me for something I can't clown myself for. Gully TV is the type of person that would lick the can clean. Me, myself, I'd probably drink it with a straw. Gully TV, you, my friend, are a disgusting individual. So let's get into it tonight. So Gully said, Leak didn't go any further than Queen's Flip's couch. That's the furthest he went. You know, that's funny. That's funny, but look at the flip side. Look at the flip side, stupid. The reason that he's even on Queen's Flip's couch, it's because of who? The reason he's on Queen's Flip's couch is actually because of me. It's because of me, the CEO of OBH. Gully, you do everything to prove my point. So right, right before you even mention my name, I'm actually laughing at you off the rip. But let's move forward. Let's move forward because Gully says some of the most ultimately embarrassing stuff that I've ever heard said on the internet. This guy is too funny. Gully said, I had to wait to say it. I had to wait till skinny me was arrested to voice all my concerns. Skinny me gave me the creeps. I had to see where skinny me was politically in all of this. I found out he didn't like dark low. Bro. 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 Listen to this, you guys. I had to see where skinny me was politically. I found out he didn't like Dark Low. He gave me the creeps. Murder gang suckers. We was like, whoa. Now this dude is a killer for real. That was one of the, your mistakes. Bringing him around, Gully said. He moves different. He acts different. He talks different. This is how he knows the rest of you are just some regular hoodlums. He said, I seen him do it. When I heard Ab say that, I knew skinny me was the real deal. I said, I got to tone this down. He said, 120 pounds of horror. Listen to me, Gully. Listen to me. I'm calling you out for D-riding without a helmet. I'm talking to Gully TV. I'm calling you out for D-riding without a helmet. First of all, the way you laugh. You know I had to, I had to wait till skinny me went to jail. You're laughing like such a little bitch. The shit was like, damn. You're like skinny me used to creep me out, yo. What is this, Jeepers Creepers? What are you scared for? You're scared of another man? Why are you spooky? What are you scared for? He didn't creep me out. 
I hung around him. Skinny Me has a great relationship with Mikey T. Everybody hit that like button one time. You know what to do. Hit the chat. Let me know what city and state you're tapped in from. Put that good smoke in the air. Let me know what city and state you're tapped in from. Let me know what you're smoking on. All that good shit. This dude is a straight up weirdo. Why are you so spooky, Gully? I I hung around Skinny Me. Skinny Me and Mikey T have a great relationship. Do you want to know what Skinny Me said about Gully TV, though? Do you want to know what Skinny Me said about Gully TV the last time I asked him? He said, you're a bitch. He said, fuck Gully TV, he's a bitch. That's what he said. That's what Skinny Me said to me about you. I put it out online. Do you want me to re-release it? You want me to re-release this since you want to dig up all this old shit? Since you want to say my name on the internet? I know you've been fearing saying my name for a while. Because I went, watched a video. I took some notes. Now it's time to eat the gully TV's ass again. I hung around skinny me. You never did. You're a fraud. You're a fraud, gully TV. You interview has-beens. You don't even go on the street. You wait for people to come to check you up in the 17th floor at the W. Who are you? Who are you, homie? You ain't shit. You don't have features, credits with Kanye West. I'm on records with Kanye West and Lil Wayne. You're talking about Pillmatic? Nobody knows what that shit is. I'm on albums that have sold a million copies and you ain't shit you are the old school of blogger i am what bloggers progress to be look what happened after me look what happened after me people were putting records on chief keef album from bloggers people were putting records from pop smoke after me you know uh i i could call skinny me right now and get an interview I could call him right now and get an interview if I really wanted to. But that's what Skinny Me said about Gully TV. He said he's a bitch. So what you're doing, Gully TV, you're deriding Skinny Me. You're deriding without a helmet, and I'm calling you out for it. Skinny Me doesn't mess with you. He messes with me. You're a little dolja, Gully. You're mad corny. You're deriding somebody that actually messes with me. They don't even mess with you. And that's the part that I don't understand about you. Like, you want to be me? You want to be me? Because if I got to bring up ancient history, I'm pretty sure you interviewed Bangham Smurf after me as well. I'm pretty sure you followed in my footsteps in interviewing Bangham Smurf. And by the way, your interview with Bangham Smurf sucked. World Star didn't pick it up. Nobody remembers it. Everybody remembers my interviews with Bangham Smurf. Your work sucks. The work you did with Jay Hood sucked. The work you did with Uncasa sucked. The work you did with Shaheem sucked. The work you did with any of the other artists, uh, who's the other artist that Roscoe P. Cold Chain, your work with him sucked. I could tell you that. And, and these people that you're scared of, they are running around saying, fuck Gully TV. These people that you're scared of, these people that got you trembling in your boots, these dudes that got you petrified. Why? Because they don't mess with you, man. Listen to this guy. Let's move along. Gully TV said, I'm about to attach myself to Leek's soul. <laughs> I'm about to attach myself to... We had this shit, shit shaking for two to three years. I was thinking about y'all. I was wondering what you bums were doing nowadays. You out here stealing catalytic converters like them junkies. 
And uh, I'll give that to Gully. He made me laugh on that one because, yeah, Leek Moss does look like he does that. I think he actually got that joke from me because I told him he looked like a squeegee man. I asked if he was a part-time mechanic. And then the other, you know what I mean, the other part of the time he actually works on bear season. You know what I'm saying? That's what I asked him. So he's always dirty because he always has like all these oil stains on him. You know, I think you kind of took that joke from me, Gully. Because you obviously watch my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I just noticed. I just noticed something about your videos, Gully. You have a 99 cent Walmart basketball hoop in your background, bro. Why do you have that? Why do you have that cheap shit? Why do you have a 99 cent Walmart basketball hoop? That reminds me of like things that college kids use for like their dirty hamper. You know what I mean? They shoot their clothes into the dirty hamper. What do you shoot dirty laundry into your hamper through your hoop in your hoop hamper? Is that what you do, Gully? Why do you have that, man? That shit is mad childish. Take it down. It's cheap. You know what I mean? I'm thinking like, uh, this guy's going to have something official. I'm thinking he's going to have something NBA authentic. You know what I mean? Maybe one of the uh, actual backboards. Maybe something from the NBA store. I'm thinking Gully TV might do. But nope. Gully TV can't flex like that. Gully TV can't have the outdoor hoop indoors. Why? Gully TV is not a baller. He's not a baller. Why? Because I got to put you up on game and tell you how to do stuff. That's why. I just gave you the idea for your own shit. How embarrassing, man. I, I pretty much inspired your whole career. I'm the reason you wanted to get on YouTube. Just go online and admit it. You watched my interviews with Banglam Smurf. You said, damn, who brought this dude back from the dead? And you were inspired to do work. You're probably going to look at my uh, backboard idea. You're going to be like, that's a dope idea, but it's not in the budget. I'm going to hit him with the B word, y'all. No, not bitch. Budget. Because you're not a baller. You're not a baller, Gully. This thing with Dark Low, you lost it. Leak Moss embarrassed you on your own channel. He ran you off your own channel. When Leak Moss came on my channel, I made him feel like the worst thing on earth. I made him feel like a little bitch. When Leak Moss came on my channel, I ran his ass off my channel. I pulled up pictures like, yo, you look like a squeegee man. Leek Moss clowned you on your own channel. Yep, Gully TV is getting exposed tonight. Everybody in here, hit that like button one time. Show some love to the channel. Everybody hit that like button right now. Show some love to the channel. So, yeah, man. I, I like this joke about, you know, the catalytic converters. But I think he needs to pay some dues. Pay some dues where he got it from. Let the world know. I mean, he's going to let the world know later on in his stream. Because he obviously has been watching me every step of the way. So listen to this. Gully said, but what are you going to talk about is, but what we are going to talk about, excuse me, is what you said about Mikey T. You said, uh, I don't know what to call it, extortion, but he's doing something to us. I just don't know what it is. You know what it is. You want me to tell you what it is? So this is, sounds ridiculous to me. I'm going to post a poll. How about I post a poll 
Who believes I was extorting skinny me? Who in here believes I was extorting AR Rab? Who believes I was extorting AR Rab? Who believes I was extorting Dark Low or Leek Moss or what's his name? Lip Gloss. Like, you sound stupid, Gully TV. I want to see in the chats. Like, who thinks that? He's got them Huntington Park late night smoker hats. Uh, we're going to get into some of his hat collections. Yeah, I got love for Philly. You already know that. I got mad love for Philly. Everybody in here hit that like button one time. Hit that like button one time. Show some support to the channel. So Gully TV is saying I'm extorting OBH. Gully TV is talking about I'm extorting OBH. Who in here thinks I was extorting skinny me? Let me know. I'd be very interested to know if you think Mikey T was extorting skinny me. This guy sounds like a damn fool. I was driving up to Philly to do interviews when you didn't know what you were going to do with your life, Gully TV. I was riding out helping A.R. Rab through his beef with Meek Mill when you didn't know whose YouTube video to steal, Gully TV. I was riding out and checking them when you didn't even know who the hell they were. Exactly. Hit that like to hit that like button if you support the channel. Hit that like button if you support the channel. I'm going to put a poll up. I'm going to put a poll up. But listen, listen guys, listen to me. I was running a tight ship. But when you say extorting, listen gully, they don't view it as that. They don't view it as that, man. Everybody plays a role. What you're looking at is Mikey T, the general. You're looking at Mikey T, the general. Yeah, we had to get your ass out of there, Gully. You didn't fit in OBH, especially when you started snitching on Dark Low. You didn't fit in OBH. That's why Leak Moss got on your ass. It's called protocol. I'm running a tight ship. I'm running a tight ship. You call it extortion. They don't look at it like that, homie. You're talking to the general now. And you're just like a private first class. And you're talking to the top of the top. I've come to address you tonight, Mr. Gully TV. This guy who comes up with a name like, oh, we probably think Gully TV is going to be running around all the hoods showing us what's Gully. He's more like Miko Worldwide. You're talking to Mikey T, the general now. Gully, you can't do stuff like this. Gully, you're petrified. You can't do stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta wait till Skinny Me goes to jail and then you can go and giggle on your computer. Skinny Me runs his jail. You was doing hula hoops in jail you was doing hula hoops in jail gully they knew you as a hooper trooper in jail that's how they knew you because you were a good baller right you were a good baller you were the best baller handball and basketball he talks about it all the time it's gully tv's glory days it's Gully TV's glory days. Uh, listen to this, guys. Gully said, Leak, you said you're not bothered by things. 
First off, I ain't a blogger. If you Google my name, they got me labeled as a hip hop artist, Gully TV said. I got writing credits on Pillmatic album, registered with ASCAP. I'm in my first movie. It drops this month. The movie you're in probably sucks. I'm in a movie that made over $3 million. It's out now on actual platforms. It's called Slapface. I notice you don't even put your movie title out there. It's because your movie sucks. My movie is a movie that is probably going to spawn many sequels. Your movie sucks. And you said you're an artist? What project do you have out? Do you have an album out? What? Let me ask you, what artistry do you even have on display? Who, who, why do you feel you can throw that word around of artist? How? Explain that to me. Explain to me what you do, Gully TV, that is artistic. I've featured and been on songs with Kanye West, homie. Name in the credits and all that. I got gypped out of it. But I was on features with Kanye West. You ain't got shit on me, homie. This guy talking about some bullshits. I've interviewed Lil Wayne. I got shitted on by Rihanna. And one time I actually fucked up Drake's outfit. And you don't want to know what? Jay Hood wants to punch me in my mouth when he sees me. Josh. Oh, uh, didn't you interview Josh Gully? And that interview sucked, by the way. I thought you said you were behind the scenes on these interviews. Not that one. But anyways, fuck Jay Hood. Jay Hood is soft. We said that already. Do we really need to say it again? Everybody in here, hit that like button. I'm going off tonight, man. And stop trying to act like a dope boy, Gully TV. Stop trying to act like a dope boy in front of Uncasa. You think you think he was impressed by you? Uncasa was like, oh, Gully TV, that's so gangster. You're a loser, man. So Gully said, let's talk about Mikey T. Let's talk about Mikey T and how he's treating you. Let's talk about how thing, how Mikey T has been treating you for the last few years. He probably deserves it. He probably deserves everything he's got coming to him. You jumped on him and you was down there rolling around on the ground with him. You looked comfortable rolling on around in the dirt like a tumbleweed. That's what you remind me of. I don't know what is up with you, man. Uh, so Gully TV went right back and forth from dissing me and Leek Moss at that very moment. But again, it just clears my point of this dude is just watching every single thing that happens. Gully also said the window closed real quick on Leek Moss's career. You know, that's just what Gully TV wants to believe. You know what I mean? Gully TV kind of feels like if Leek Moss isn't going to work with him, then Leek Moss isn't going to have a career. When Leek Moss is obviously has many different bloggers and podcasts reaching out with him to cover his story probably at least once a week. So I don't know what you're talking about, Gully. Do you think if he put up a video on your page that averages about 1.8 thousand views per video? I looked at your last videos, homie. Your last videos views are horrible. The last views that you did was horrible, man. Um. So listen, Gully TV said, I'll give you a plea bargain, Leek Moss. I give out pleas. Aside from that, you're dead in the water. He also said, I never seen a dude make a white t-shirt look bad. Your appearance alone makes us see how well you're doing. I'll say this. Leek Moss has the Amazon V-necks. They're not white. They're off yellow. They're not off white. They're off yellow. The Amazon four-pack, the V-necks, the saggy V-necks, the ones that Bangham Smurf had styled back in the day. Shout out to my boy. He made the saggy V-necks. 
popping, but let me stop on that and get back to the joint. So Leek, Gully said, Leek, you said in your interview, you said you pursued conflict with us. Gully TV was talking about myself and him. You said you were trying to be a rapper. You said you wanted to get on our platform to steal our fans. Okay, but everywhere Leek goes, Gully, we all know that he talks about he doesn't care about rap. He doesn't care about rap. That's what Leek Moss says every time he's on a platform. Gully really has, you know, everything wrong about Moss. You know, he's not crusty and dusty. Listen, he's not crusty and dusty. He's just crusty, dusty, and musty. There's a new one, you guys. Musty. It's like misty and moldy. Like when your house has mold. Anyways, I have to stop this type of shit and get back to the topic. Let me get back to it. I have to stop because if I can actually look through a computer screen and see that you don't have good hygiene, that's bad. If I'm looking through the screen and seeing that you have bad hygiene, that's not good, homie. That's crazy. That's crazy. You look like you smell. It's crazy. So Gully said um, he is the true definition of wasted talent, and that's why he's on somebody's platform with a big white T-shirt and looking like he's homeless. That's the real truth. Everyone else is escalating, guys. Like I'm looking, everyone else is escalating, and he's saying that Leak Moss is just looking for a conflict. Everybody in here, hit that like button right now. Drop a comment. Let me know what city and state you're tapped in from. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. Here's the thing with Moss. You want to talk about wasted talent? I can't call him wasted talent. I can't call him wasted talent. Because he's not really talented. He's not even the best in OBH. And he doesn't have potential. You want to know why? Because he doesn't have drive. You know, not not drive, not like a car. I think he has a Buick LeSabre 1991. You know what I mean? He doesn't have drive is what I'm saying, you guys. He doesn't have motivation, stuff like that. He puts in zero effort. He puts zero effort into rapping unless he's worried about something like China Mac, somebody like China Mac coming on the track and outshining him. Like, let's be real about it, man. Let's be real about it. I've witnessed it firsthand. Hit that like button if you're in here, man. Let me know what you're sipping on tonight. I already gave the introduction about the cores. So butcher me if you want in the chat, but it is what it is tonight. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. China Mac. I put that together too, by the way. But he's never worried about jumping on a track unless he's actually got somebody to compete with, somebody to make himself look good alongside. Do I need to list it? AR Rab, China Mac, Shooter 97. If there's somebody where he has to make sure that his verse sounds halfway decent, he's going to do it. Otherwise, he doesn't give a damn. And it's going to be the same old simplistic shit. And that's not the way that you make it into the industry. I remember mad conversations that, like, you got to listen to your brother. Cassidy brought AR Rab to many different shows. I'm going to school you on something right now if you're watching. 
Cassidy brought AR rap to many different shows to freestyle. At a certain point in time, your bro, AR Rab, was doing the same freestyle. He realized Cassidy was giving him too much of an opportunity to have the same freestyle on eight different shows. He improved. Your brother improved. He became the best. Literally the best in Philly. <sighs> to the point where Gilly the Kid called Cosmic Kev. When Gilly the Kid called Cosmic Kev, there was no doubt in his mind that ARAB was going to go up there and destroy it. But um, Leak just puts in zero effort when it comes to his own career. But other than that, he's lackluster. He's nothing like his brother. You can tell. like He's nothing like Ab. His music is not there. His music, it's quite simply, it's nothing like Ab's. Dark Low, even Dark Low has a better catalog than Leak Moss. Looking at Dark Low's catalog, he's got Dark Avelli. Even without going into all the new music, I don't even need to go into the new music. The Ron Harvey shit kills D Leak Moss's entire catalog. Like, do I need to go any further? Do I need to talk about how he's worked with Harry Fraud and Havoc from Mob Deep? Like, I really don't even need to get into all that. Honestly, I don't even need to get into all that. Doesn't even make sense to get into all that. Dark Avelli, Ron Harvey, Leak Moss's whole catalog. I'm just being real. And dudes wanted to turn their backs on me when I could have made the label great again. If you want to use that terminology. Actually, the label never left prominence when I was working with them. And I even started putting Leak Moss together with all these different artists. So I don't know what you think you could have done, Gully TV, to help them. But you're not doing shit. Look at your YouTube views, geez. You want to talk about YouTube views, man? You haven't done 250,000 this year. You haven't even done 100K this year. You haven't even done 100K this year. Your shit's embarrassing. Your shit's embarrassing compared to me. I've done 100K like five or six times this year. I've done 250K. You haven't even touched my numbers this year. We're not even talking about last year. I got old money. I got old money and I'm making new money. Are you making any? It's a new year and I'm still doing better than you. Just look at the channels. Just look at the channels. Anybody in here, go look at the channels. Even if there's some people out there who are scared to be a Mikey T fan. You know what I mean? Even Because I've had girlfriends pull their boyfriends up to me all the time. I've had people in the studio, we're leaving the studio, they come up to me, you know, all types of shit. It doesn't even matter from the average person to one of the owners of Worldstar coming up to me. Owner of Worldstar didn't invite me into his, his section, but once we was outside the club, he pulled me over to the side and said, yo, I want you to do this, that, and the third. For world star. Uh, I'm straight. I'm Mikey T the movie star. I'm not signing no bullshit ass contracts. With no websites. I made myself. If Gully TV would have jumped at that opportunity. Did I work with your world star? Hell yeah. Did we build? Hell yeah. But I'm Mikey T the movie star you guys. I've had so many major artists try to sign me. Appreciate you, Mike. Yeah, Leak is not better than Dark Low. Leak is not better than Dark Low. Dark Low has a way better catalog than Leak Moss. Dark Avelli, Ron Harvey. Borrowed time. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Do we do we need to bring up other projects? SK Tales. Do we need to bring up other projects? 
Dark Low just dropped two new ones. Blood in my eye. A lot of people caught controversy with me over that one. I'm going to review an album the way I want to review an album. If I feel a rapper is dissing another rapper, I'm putting it on the table. We need you on the track on the United Philadelphia mixtape. All right. I'm about to do a J-Hood diss song. My guy Panda Chop was talking to me today. He's doing a reaction video to my reaction video. Shout out to Panda Chop. That's my genius right there. Um, and I'm going to be doing, we might be doing a J-Hood diss song. So any producers hit me up. But let me know what you want to do, Jeez, Mike. Uh, hit me on Instagram. It's Mikey T underscore the movie star. That's right. You might be hearing some Mikey T vocals out there in the very near future. Yeah. Let me put this up right here. Uh, uh, Laura and Rex Money said, Leak, don't go hard with music. If he did, it would be different. Boy can spit, but low is fire too. That's one of the biggest is issues with Leak Moss. The fact that he doesn't go hard with his music. That's why I was talking about Drive. We're going to talk about Drive again in a second, but it's in relation to something else. But uh, yeah, Leak Moss's drive is ass. You know what I mean? I tried to help him out. I understand he had other people doing management with him as well. But I was trying to help keep the ball rolling. And they left me hanging, you guys. You know what I mean? They left me hanging. But to be honest with you, it's much bigger than me. I never look at this situation like it's just me. Like, there was just so much more that the fans were supposed to get when Dark Low and Leek Moss were actually supposed to work together. And Leek Moss ruined all that. Like, Dark Low had already sent him, like, six cuts or vice versa. Like, they were legitimately sp supposed to start a mixtape series. And we got screwed out of that because of some bullshit. Because of some bullshit where Dark Low had a conversation with the feds that wasn't even used in court. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to sit up here and um, I'm not going to sit up here and really talk about people talking to the cops and stuff like that. But um, Dark Low was sitting up for 13 months in jail. You know what I mean? They could pull him at any time. The man's in federal custody. You know what I mean? They could pull him at any time for a conversation. Those conversations were not used in ARAB's trial. So I don't understand what significance it really held to Leak Moss. It doesn't make any sense. It's like he's just standing on a principle just to stand on a principle. Jeez, that's somebody that came to the halfway house and gave you whatever the fuck amount of money it was. Because shit wasn't always as sweet as it became. But let's get back into it, man. Because we're talking about that little bitch gully TV tonight. Um, so Gully said he's the true definition of wasted talent. The true definition of wasted talent. I don't think I'm going to give him that. I'm not going to give him that. I can't call him wasted talent because, uh, the way that he acts, the way that he goes about his business, he's not really talented. And when you look at the OBH roster, he's not even the best in OBH and he doesn't have the same potential as the other guys had when we're talking about dark low, when we're talking about skinny me, when we're talking about no breaks bras, you know what I mean? A guy who M uh, who B E T saluted on their Instagram page or their Twitter page back in the day when Twitter was actually popping. You know what I mean? Leak Moss does not have the drive, man, unless he's actually working with another high caliber artist like a China Mac. If he's not doing that, he's lackluster at best. You know, his music in comparison to AR Rabs, listen to it. It's not the same. It's not the same. AR Rab, you could tell, took time, took dedication. He took a process with his music recording. This guy wouldn't just think that every thought that he had in his mind was the most genius. Arab was not like that, you guys. Arab told us specifically, if you don't remember, I'm going to tell you again. Arab told us he went to his friends. He asked them about his stories. I said, Ab, what happened, homie? 
You're telling me one of your homies wore a wire on you? Like I asked him that in interview format. And he's like, Mikey T, actually, that is a story that I got from one of my other friends. When I'm in the studio, I usually walk around to the different people and I hear the things that they're talking about. You know what I mean? Ab had a process to the way that he recorded music. There was something authentic to the way that he recorded music. You can't just be like Chopper City from MTV making the band and thinking that you're dyed lawn spitting all that hot shit. Leek Moss is the equivalent of Dylon. This guy thinks he's the second coming of Nas or something. Why don't you just start a... Shit! Gully has Pillmatic. That's embarrassing, Gully. That's embarrassing. When I was younger and I was writing rhymes in my notebook and sometimes I scribbled some out, because I was like, nah, that's not authentic to the culture. That's not authentic to what is real. That is not a good bar. That is not a good title. Why would you steal a legend's title? That's embarrassing, man. I'm embarrassed for you that you called your shit Pillmatic. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing, man. And, oh, my God. I can't believe it. And, and, and let me ask you something else. Leak, why go on Queen Slip's couch? Why go on Queen Slip's couch and cry about it? You know what I mean? Why go on there and cry about it? It makes you look weak. The man is on there asking you questions about me. You never stop to think about how that actually makes you look. On the topic of conversation, Mikey T is the topic of conversation. Do me a favor, Leek. Pay me my rent. Pay me my rent because I live in your head. I'm always on your mind. I'm always on your mind, baby, baby. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Know who's your father. Know who's your daddy. That's all I'm trying to say. You're my son, Leek Moss. You are my son, Gully TV. I gave you the name, Lip Gloss. And you want to know what, Leek? Lip, excuse me, Lip Gloss. Everyone just ran with it. They actually call you Lip Gloss now. I can't control what they do. Now they just put Lip Gloss emojis all up in your video chats. Don't get me busting jokes. Don't get me busting jokes. Y'all want to come for me? Gully TV. Gully TV. You took that basketball hoop from Chuck E. Cheese, didn't you? You took that basketball hoop from Chuck E. Cheese, Gully TV. Did you take it from Chuck E. Cheese? Answer me, homie. I just remembered that. I mean, I know it's kind of random. It's mad random. I just remembered it from a little bit earlier in the stream. Chuck E. Cheese. It sounds like somewhere rats go. Right? Sounds like somewhere rats go. It's a cheese logo. The mascot is a rat. You took pictures with Chucky because he's a rat, didn't you, Gully? Right, and then you took the basketball hoop from there and the basketball hoop from your background next to your LeBron jersey. You look, you're the type of dude who, you look like you have a NASCAR hat collection. I have a feeling you do, Gully. I have a feeling you do. You're right, Beans is the go to Philly, that's facts. Beans is the go to Philly. That's facts. Everybody hit that like button. And Gully said, and just for the record, we didn't have no issues. He's talking to Leek. You jumped in my business when I was throwing dark low all over the internet. 
And you got in my business when I was dealing with Dark Low, and you knew he was a pansy long before you told him. Uh, long before you told him you'd break his jaw, I told him I'd break his jaw. Right. Okay, Gully. But you didn't. You didn't. You didn't actually do shit. The same way you were talking mad shit about Mano and you never ended up doing anything. You want to know what, Gully? You want to know what? You'll never go to Brooklyn. Ever. You will never go to Brooklyn, man. And, and talk like that. Go go to Brooklyn and talk crazy like that about Mano. What are you on? Ketamine? What's that? What's that new shit that they're on in uh Kensington? What you on, Gully? You're you're on what do you want? Elephant tranquilizers? Gully, you're out of your mind, man. Listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. True story, man. You got to be out of your mind. Dark Low exposed you as a fraud. Low exposed you as a fraud. Do you remember that? When Dark Low exposed you as a fraud? You were, you like recorded his phone call or you put out a message from him? You leaked it like a little bitch when he was in the middle of a case. You think we forgot about that? You dry snitched on the man while he was going through a case. You're a rat. You're a rat in Chuck E. Cheese taking pictures. I'd be embarrassed to be you. Whatever success you think you have. I'm embarrassed for you, man. I'm seriously embarrassed for you. Guy records his shit, leaks it like a little bitch. We'll get to questions at the end of the stream. If you guys have any live questions, otherwise you could super chat the questions to take away from the stream. But yeah, man. I'm just saying, Dark Low ultimately exposed you, man. Dark Low ultimately exposed you as the ultimate fraud and the ultimate bitch, which is why your hatred for him for him actually stems deep. You know what I mean? It's because he exposed you as a bitch and he told you, let's just meet up on the streets. Didn't he tell you that? Didn't he tell you, let's just... Meet up on the streets and figure it out. But you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do that, man. Why didn't you want to do that? Were you thinking Skinny Me might be around? Were you thinking Skinny Me might be there? The guy who scared you? You're such a bitch, Gully TV. You're mad bitch made. Dude was scared of Skinny Me. How come I didn't feel shook to death how come i didn't feel uncomfortable around these people that's how i can tell that you're fake man you can you can go around real people well actually you can't go around real people man you can't go around real people that's how i can tell you're fake man i didn't feel that way when i was going around them I didn't feel like they were going to rob me. They didn't give me the creeps, like you said. Me? I felt welcome. Me? I felt at home. But me, I was actually putting in work. I never actually saw any of the work that you did with OBH. The only work I ever really saw from you, probably one Dark Low video, and you take credit for filming a leak moss video. Jeez, please miss me with that. The only time I ever saw you do something was when you actually copied me and interviewed Bangham Smurf. 
you little punk ass bitch. Yeah, I noticed that. You tried to jump on my wave back in the day, Gully TV. And that's why you gave me the interview with Benny the Butcher. You put me up on Benny the Butcher because of the fact that you rode my wave with Bangham Smurf. I figured it out. That's some flawed ass shit, man, from a failed ass YouTuber, from what I've heard about your career. You're the type of person who could never go out there and make his own content because you have no imagination. You don't even know what you want to do when it comes to this. That's why you named a project Pillmatic. Who the hell would name something that? What were you? Where, where are you coming from with that, man? And don't even try to come at me like you want to interview now because I don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? When I was talking about Max B pushing him back his album, Vigilante Season, and then the label reached out to me and said, Mikey T, Max B's album's not pushed back. And I said, okay, what's up? Let's do an interview. They said, good, we'll do an interview so we can let the world know the album isn't pushed back. You want to know why Max B's people wanted to let the world know through Mikey T, that his album wasn't pushed back? Because Mikey T let the whole world know what was going on. And that's why you followed my content. That's why you were watching the Bangham content and you followed my lead. But, but skinny me scared you, right? My friend, skinny me. He scared you, you little bitch, Gully TV. He made you shook. He made you feel uncomfortable. How you talking like that, but then you're talking like you run the North? You need to shut up, man. You just need to shut up. You want to know something I just realized? Gully TV is the original Hassan Campbell. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is when I realized it. Leak Gully said, Leak, I took it easy on you. I was on Mano's ass for three years. You're the one who took it beyond music. Gully TV is the original Hassan Campbell, you guys. He just admitted it. He made videos about Mano for three years continuously. That's mad Calvin Klein obsession, man. This dude, Gully TV, three years continuously making videos about Mano? Damn. I might have to go check out some of that archive and flame your ass, Gully. You might have just given me some content. But let me ask you something. But you didn't run into him? You didn't run into Mano after three years? After three years, you didn't run into him at one event? I'm not understanding that. Because to me, that means you're not outside. I've seen Mano at many events. Popping champagne, spilling it on couches. You played the background, didn't you? you played the background, Gully. It's all good, man. You're a sucker. I didn't. I walked up and said, what's up? It's Mikey T, the movie star. I did it to everybody. Saigon, Murder, Inc., Tony Sunshine, Terror Squad, everybody. Mano, Uncle Murda, all of them. G-Unit wasn't there. Sorry, nobody from G-Unit was there. If they were there, I would have walked up and said, what up? Kid Kid's the one who brought me to G-Unit. Salute to him for that. Also, Spider Loke. 
Actually, he wasn't with G-Unit at the time. Kid Kid was with G-Unit. Brought me to the G-Unit offices. Salute to him. I'll always remember him for that. What up, Kid Kid? Dope new interview you got out. <sighs> Top five from Philly? Wait till the end of the interview. Wait till the end of the podcast, excuse me. I just realized Gully TV is the old Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell even takes little things from Gully TV as well, probably as far as the way that he dresses, to be honest with you, the way that he's really been coordinating with his matching, with his hats. You know what I'm saying? I think he takes a lot of that from Gully TV. But these guys actually like each other. You know what I mean? Like Gully TV tries to show love to Johnny Mac. When Gully TV said that I started beef with Leek Moss and Dark Low, which is totally inaccurate. Don't ever in your life put something out there like that about me that's inaccurate like that, homie. I never started no beef with Dark Low and Leek Moss. The only one that beef with Dark Low and Leek Moss could have helped was you. If Dark Low and Leek Moss worked together, we would have put out multiple mixtapes, you moron. Are you out of your mind or are you just stupid? You stupid or you dumb? Which one are you trying to flip this? Talking about, oh, Dark Low and Leek Moss, Mikey T split them apart. Are you crazy? Do you think I wanted to see them two men beef? I was forced to choose a side in that whole situation. Once I saw what Johnny Mac was doing, actually pitting them up against one another, I would have never in life did something like that. Put them on the same screen, dissing each other. I would have never did an interview with Dark Low dissing Leak Moss and vice versa. But Leek Moss felt compelled to diss Dark Low. That's how it began. So don't ever put that on me. I would never start a beef with two members of a rap clique that I joined afterwards. Are you insane? Do you not know the definition of protocol? You would have never worked in any label. Death Row, Bad Boy, G-Unit, any of these labels. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Because you were just in jail, gully. You were just in jail reading about the shit that I was doing in magazines. That's right. I inspired you to want to be somebody. So don't come out here, outside, into the free world, and trying to rustle, ruffle feathers. Because you look like a little bitch. And you don't even got the timeline right. Talking about I started beef with Dark Low and Leek Moss. You don't know shit about a world tour. Pillmatic's a flop. Yeah, that's right. Your album, Pillmatic, is a flop. Don't even make me do a review. I'll do a review and I'll trash every single one of your records. I don't know what type of credit you got on there, man. You ain't never did shit worth credit on here mis misinterpreting shit. Talking about I started beef with Dark Low and Leek Moss. Me and Leek Moss don't agree on shit, but we agree on that I didn't start that beef. That was something that he was compelled to do. And then Johnny Mac put them on a live together while dude was talking about, I'm going to break your jaw. And now you want to say you were going to break Dark Low's jaws first? <laughs> Well, you didn't do it, chump. You didn't do it. Matter of fact, when Dark Low was in Philly, you didn't show your face there. You said you were scared to death of skinny me, but you dissed Dark Low and never showed your face in Philly again. That's for damn sure. And you're lucky I don't bring my Philly dudes up on here tonight, man. You're lucky my dude, uh, you're lucky my dude SV Twiz ain't rocking with me on this one right here, man. Because, yo, we don't we don't really play too kindly to suckers like you, Gully TV. We don't play too kindly to suckers that come online and talking about the passing 
of one of our good friend's sons. We don't play kindly to sucker bloggers. What do we do? We come on here and we eat through your asses. Look what happened to Hassan Campbell for mentioning Gilly the Kid. So you want to mention Gilly the Kid? We're going to get to it in a second. We're going to get to it in a second. You want to mention Gilly's name? You want to talk about people dissing Gilly? Nobody in Philly is dissing Gilly. Are you stupid or are you dumb? You think people in Philly are dissing Gilly right now? The only one I know from Philly that dissed Gilly was Meek Mill at one point. And I don't even think that was really true. He just didn't want Gilly to blow up and get his shine at that point in time. Because Gilly had the independent deal. So I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody that dissed Gilly. You sound like a dumbass. Talking about dudes diss Gilly the kid to get a buzz. No, people that were ex uh, communicated with G Unit dissed 50 Cent to get a buzz. What are you talking about? I'm going off on your bitch ass tonight, tonight, because uh, you're inaccurate. Nobody's dissing Gilly the kid right now. And I didn't even got to this part yet. Rest in peace, uh, Cheese. Rest in peace, the cheese, man. When Hassan Campbell did that bitch ass shit, I had to go off on him, man. And yeah. Yeah, there might be more. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I got a lot of content that I release all the time. Has, uh, Hassan got flamed for that. But now Gully TV. I see Gully TV released a video where he dissed me. Gully said I was extorting skinny me. So, Gully, I was extorting the guy that you were scared to death of. So, that makes me higher up on the echelon. I am the general. Like I said, you are the first class private. You are not even corporal. You will never make it to staff sergeant. I don't even think you know what comes after that, to be 100% with you. Just like I don't think you know the pieces on a chessboard. I don't think that you know you got played like a bitch-ass pawn. I don't think you know it. I don't think you know it, homie. You ain't a rook. Do you even know what that is? Is that foreign to you? Hit that like button if you're in this chat. Hit that like button if you mess with Mikey T, the movie star. Tonight, Gully TV, he's got me hot because honestly, like, I'm on my own shit. You look at my numbers and then go look at Gully's numbers and tell me whose numbers are better. Gully wants to talk about dead in the water. Gully, your career has been dead in the water since 10 Toes Down came on the scene. Huh? You want me to be real about it? We're going to get to that. As your new idol Zip with the Drip says, we're going to get to that. So make sure you stay tuned. Because 10 Toes Down took Gully TV's spot. We're going to get to that, though. Gully, your spot got taken. Because you talk about the fact that you're an interviewer, you're behind the scenes, behind the hand. No, you're not known for being behind the camera, you dumbass. I'm known for being behind the camera. All my interviews, I was behind the camera. You're a fraud. You're on camera for the majority of your interviews. You're a fraud. Every time you really get views, you're on camera. I'm off camera for my interviews. Look at them. French Montana. Max B. Lil Wayne. Young Dolph. Yo Gotti. Look at my interviews. I'm behind the camera. So who are you portraying to be? Because you're not. You're not that, homie. And then you diss Mano for three years, but you don't run into him. You don't run into Mano after three years. 
You're not outside. And you want to know what? Mano be in Philly too. You know what I mean? It shows me that you're not outside, man. And by the way, by the way, man, you don't know Boxing Bar. You don't know Boxing Bar. Stop deriding him. He's not going to give you a medal. What is it? What is it, man, with everyone deriding Boxing Bar? They act like he raps or something, man. Listen to this. Gully said, you hopped in my mix with Dark Low. I told y'all, Charles Sally wasn't who he portrayed himself to be. You sound like a fraud saying that about Dark Low, man. You tried to tell everybody that Dark Low wasn't who he were portrayed to be. Jeez, you put it online to your massive fan base. You have 124,000 followers, 140,000 followers on Instagram. I don't know. You, that's how many it says on YouTube, I mean. And you put it out there that Dark Low threatened you. You snitched, bro. You snitched. Can you come to terms with yourself and, and just accept the fact that you snitched on another man in this world? And it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad, man. You're trying to come out here and say that and you want to use his government. Why are you using his government, man? You know what I mean? Just because your name is so generic and every other person in the world has it. I'm sorry, but there's about a thousand, there's about a hundred thousand people in the world named Gully TV, but there's only one Dark Low. You know what I mean? So miss me with that shit, referring to him by his government name. Like you're a fraud. You're somebody that Dark Low accepted into his existence. You're somebody that Dark Low actually tried to help. Like how you want to help Leak Moss so bad right now with his record career. You could have actually helped Dark Low, somebody that was very accepting to you, just like he was accepting to me. You know what I mean? And I can make that statement. I'd make that statement to Dark Low. I would say, Dark Low, you were accepting the Gully TV just like you were accepting to me. That's the difference between you and I, Gully TV. I can say what's real. But whatever. You want to ride your high horse? You know what I mean? You want your spectacle of them lame-ass interviews that you did with some of these dudes. Whatever it is what it is, man. I'm not really shook by it. You support somebody like Johnny Mac. You know what I mean? You support somebody with a a, a, a platform called 40, 48. First 48. You support somebody... Like that, who deals with a Fed brand? You support a Fed brand, Gully TV? I just heard my dude, Death of the Cloud Chaser, and he put it in one of his videos. They're like, and you all got to find out on the first 48. And you support that. You support that snitching shit that happens on the first 48. That's the type of uh, low-grade shit that Gully TV supports. But he really just does that to spite me. He really does that to spite me and then be like, oh, Mikey T, honestly, you um, you started the beef with Dark Low and Leak Moss. Like, no, I didn't. What are you talking about? If anything, your man Johnny Mac did. Are you dumb? Your man Johnny Mac had them on a live together. Rather than piecing it up behind the scenes and figuring out what they were going to do musically, not trying to say it would have been some 6 9 Kodak Black collaboration, many people don't believe that Dark Low snitched. A lot of people don't think what Leek Moss is saying is authentic when it comes to that. The average person doesn't give a shit about that right now, just to be real. But yeah, let's get to that. Let's get to that. So listen to what he says. He said, Dark Low wasn't who he portrayed himself to be. 
You jumped in my business with him. You still could have been rocking. I be out in Philly all the time. Shout out to the Philly Fame TV. Shout out to Philly Fame TV. He does great content. He interviewed me. I was on the 17th floor of the W. It's hard out here. Who the who the hell says it's hard out here when you're in the 17th floor of the W? Like what? He said, um, he said it's hard out here. Go make a diss video about Gilly and them, like the rest of these broke dudes are doing. Yo, first of all, why are you mentioning Gilly the Kid? Why are you mentioning Gilly the Kid and then foul, fi, uh, following it up with some foul-ass shit like that? What are you even talking about? That's foul and uh, that's also inaccurate. There's nobody out there recording any diss songs of Gilly the Kid. And you sound like you sound like a fucking moron because there's no history of people dissing Gilly the Kid to actually get on. Like, what's wrong with you, man? You'd be lucky if I don't flame you on the next three fucking videos, find the most crazy fucking headlines, and have this chat fucking packed dissing Gilly the uh, dissing Gully TV for the next seven days just because of what you said about Gilly the Kid. You realize that's my OG? You realize Gilly the Kid is my OG Gully TV? I don't know what stupid ass relationships you think you got when it comes to this music industry, but Gilly the Kid is my OG. Like when they talk about Lloyd Banks and 50, Gilly's my OG. So when you want to get into that whole shit, talking about inaccurate information, nobody from Philly has ever dissed Gilly. What are you talking about? Point me in the direction of somebody that dissed Gilly. You're spitting this inaccurate information. What do you think this is? New York? Rappers dissing 50 Cent? It's not the same thing. Gilly was well respected through the streets of Philly. Since you want to bring it to other states, he was well respected through Jersey. Where else we got to go? Where else we got to go with it? Yeah, Gilly the Kid was that guy. But you want to talk about this dumbass shit about people dissing Gilly the Kid to get, to get clout? Somebody in this chat, go online right now and look up Gilly the Kid diss songs. And I bet you find nothing. Gully TV, you sound so out of place. You just sound so whack, man. Don't ever mention Gilly, Gilly the Kid. And I think you mentioned this again. And if I get to another part of these notes where you mention Gilly, I'm making another video. I'm going to go on and I'm going to find... Because that's what real journalists do, right? That's what real journalists do, right? Jay Hood, they find the right story. Yeah, we'll see what's up. I'm on your ass now, Gully. We was just on Hassan Campbell season. Now we're on Gully TV season. I'm not going to lie. Hassan Campbell season was a little bit more ripe than Gully TV season, though. But Gully TV season is a little more ripe than J-Hood season. So we know what we're doing tonight. We're having a good time, man. Because it's roast session, man. Uh, Gully TV, I might even bring back the video. Of Dark Low exposing you as a snitch. Since you want to talk about it, we could talk about it. So don't mention my bro Gilly the Kid. Don't mention my OG. Don't mention somebody that's giving me game. Don't mention one of the people that I care about in this industry. Especially if you're going to follow it up with some inaccurate information. Nobody disses Gilly the Kid for clout in Philly. They don't do it. It doesn't happen. And second of all, second of all, why didn't you pull up on Ariav? What are you talking about this 17th floor of the W bullshit? 
you fucking tourist. What are you talking about? The W. Go hit the streets. Guys on here talking about the W Hotel. You're stupid as hell, man. If you're if you're beefing, listen to me. At that point, if you're beefing with Dark Low, then you're beefing with Leek Moss. Leek Moss would have beat your ass in the W. He would have beat your ass on the 17th floor in the staircase. Or, or more than likely, you would have fell down to the 16th floor of the staircase and he would have continued kicking your ass. He said, it's effed up. You can't even get on a million dollars worth of game. You really had to take that shot? You're a sucker. You're a sucker. You really had to take that shot? Knowing what million dollars worth the game is? Knowing that million dollars worth the game is something that Gully TV could just never be? You got to take that shot? I don't understand you, man. Somebody like you, you try to present yourself as smart, but then you just come off as completely stupid. You should know the demographic that million dollars worth of games serves. Look at the Breakfast Club. How long did it take Arab to get on the Breakfast Club? Or were you in jail throughout all of Arab's grind? Like, this is the, or were you just being lazy? And not paying attention to hip hop. Like what is going on with you man. Like I'm concerned. At the fact that you. Actually draw attention. But you don't know shit. About what's really happening. Like you can tap dance around it. All you want homie. But you don't really know. What is going on. Like you can say what you want. But you don't know what's going on. You're going on there talking about. I'm. Um, Putting Leek Moss and Dark Low in beef. You're switching up your whole narrative now. So uh, Gully was reading a comment. Gully was reading a comment. I just found this shit hilarious. Gully said, uh, the comment was like, I'm surprised Leek didn't go down with OBH. And then Gully responded, he wasn't getting no money. Dark Low wasn't getting no money. He wasn't getting no money either. These dudes was immune to bank rolls, Gully said. They didn't fold no paper. You can't trust leak around customers. They're going to try some shit. Um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's funny. I agree. I agree 1,000%. I agree a thousand percent. I'm not giving Leak Moss no work. I'm not giving Leak Moss no work, you guys. He's coming back with a million excuses, I bet. I kind of agree with Gully on this one. I'm not even going to front, man. <laughs> that would be a seriously bad business decision. No, no, thank you. I am not. I am not fronting Leak Moss no work. Hell no. Hell no. Gully's right about this. So Gully also said, he said he was using me for fans. Did some of y'all go over there? So that's one of the things Leak was saying on this recent interview he did. He said he would actually jump on our live videos to actually get fans. He said he would actually jump on our videos to actually antagonize us. And he mentioned Gully and myself by name. Now, I'll admit, he got the better of Gully. He made Gully look like a complete bitch on his live. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I'll admit I took an L in the streets to Leak Moss. Who's going to deny that? Fact is, I was there. Is what it is. Show up on his block. I ran get I ran Leak Moss out of my life. I told Leak that I was going to take him to celebrity boxing. Um, we actually had somebody that was interested in doing a celebrity boxing match for the two of us because my dude, who's done a couple movies, 
yeah, a couple serious movies actually knows the guy who owns Celebrity Boxing. So he was like trying to tell take me, tell me to take it a certain way. I always kind of felt like it would be better if Dark Low and Leek Moss did Celebrity Boxing, probably sell more tickets. But shit, if they were coming with the bag, I would be interested. But I don't think the guy from Celebrity Boxing really knew who Leek Moss was. You know what I mean? It wasn't he wasn't really a big enough name for Mikey T to be fighting on celebrity boxing, to be real with you. Just the way that I'm gonna interpret it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, it, like I said, he's not his brother and he's not dark low. That's why I was saying I would have stepped out of the fight to actually let Dark Low step into the fight. You know what I mean? But now with this whole J Hood thing, I might have to reach out to my guy. You know what I mean? Since Jay Hood wants to run around and say I don't have his iPhone number on some weirdo shit. You know what I'm saying? Two phones? What do you think? What do you... What, what, huh? Kevin Gates? You ain't Kevin Gates, homie. You never was. You never were. Not even when you was rapping about your bulletproof hoodie. Kevin Gates never, you know, Kevin Gates actually has some good shit. Kevin Gates can actually sell albums. Kevin Gates actually releases albums. Yeah, he did like 90,000 first week. Those are sales J Hood could never do. I think it was 94, actually. So this was another uh, bullshit, another bullshit claim. Gully's like, he said he was using me for fans. Did some of y'all go over there? Gully was asking his fans. Another bullshit claim from Leak Moss, because it's like, no, the fans definitely didn't go over to Leak Moss's channel. Uh, but in reality, I just don't think Leak knew how to answer that question. I don't think Leak was using Gully for his fans. I don't really think that's what it was, because Moss doesn't care. You know what I mean? Ask him. Ask Leak Moss what his new project is. He'll be like, uh, I'll get to it. I'll get to that. You know what I'm saying? When's it going to drop? I'll get to it when I get to it. You know what I mean? These different type of answers. Another thing I wanted to comment on, Gully said, Shady told me himself he was writing raps for AR Rab. Oh, yeah? Gully? That's your man's? That's your man's, Gully. Don't nobody believe that shit, man. He's the first one, your boy. He was the first one that OB, OBH was like, uh, what are you? Trend set a shady? Gully, that's your credible source? This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you again. Him? That's your credible source, man? You know what Ab said about him? I'm done. I quit. I quit with y'all. I quit with you, Gully. That's your credible source? That's lame as fuck, man. This is what happens when you play games with me, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do stuff like this. I'm going to point it out. I'm going to laugh at you in front of your face. And I'm going to carry on. And people are going to, like, later on point it out to you it's going to irritate you and you're going to go on and you could say your stupid stuff and giggle like a little girl and say stuff like i couldn't wait i couldn't wait till skinny me got booked uh yeah so gully was responding to another comment where he was like shout out the king earner for getting a job and i don't know if that's actually accurate or whatever and you know i'm not going to diss no man for getting a job you know what i mean we're not going to go there that's just ridiculous um gully said earner had more sense than most of them from the beginning he told me he said i had to get away from them dudes man he told me that wow and um Erner, that's your guy, man. You remember when he was actually beefing with Leek and King Erner kind of like made friends with Gully? I exposed that to the world. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's weak. That shit's weak, man. How the hell... How the hell is King Erner going to say that I had to get away from them dudes, man? I might make a whole video about that, just to be real. No, no, no. We might do a video about that. Whole video about that. Like, y'all think I'm playing? I got time. I got time. You know what I mean? I got time. Erner is a bitch, too. And you know what? He probably did tell you that. What did I say? I yelled it at him. Erner is a hoe. I told him he's a hoe when I was beefing with him. I told him that that day in Philly in front of Max's when they scurried away and I stood up. So you know what, Gully? You can miss me with that. You can miss him. You can miss me with that. You can miss me with that. I called him a hoe when I was beefing that day. So miss me, man. He's still running around. What's King Erner doing? Still running around scamming people for CMOS? Are we serious right now? He has like the 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 probably has like the better business bureau looking for him. You know what I mean? He's a non-money getter. Put him in the group. N-M-G. You know what I mean? N-M-G. The non-money getters. Jay Hood. Hassan Campbell. Uh, King Erner. Who else is in that group? If you're not getting money, put it in the chat. Who else is in the N-M-G? The non-money money getters. I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. He's a non-money getter, so that means I'm not concerned with him. Nobody that gets money scams people for CMOS. I'm sorry. Let's just get that out of the way, first and foremost. Um, so Gully said, Erner got out just in time. Now, this is in reference to the federal indictment of OBH. Again, King Erner, this is your boy, Gully TV, talking about you. I seriously don't understand. I seriously don't understand how you made a peace treaty with this dude, and now he's talking about you like this in the future. Erner got out just in time before the OBH indictment. What? Are you serious? This is getting spicy. This is getting crazy, you guys. He said he was too old. I guess I'm not, I'm just not there yet with it. You know what I mean? I'm still young. You know what I mean? Erner said he was too old. He said he was too old. Said he couldn't do no more tick. That's why he started the Honor Your Life campaign. This is a true story. And then someone in the chat made a joke. And like I said, I'm not going to take a shot at a man for having a job. Although King Erner tried to take a shot at me for having a pill addiction that I don't have, which is just totally lame when you diss somebody for something that's not real. You know what I mean? Which is why I called King Erner a hoe that day because of things he said to me, which is why I was willing to take that ass whipping that day because of things he said about me. Things he said about my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with you, G's? I'll go stand on any block. I don't give a fuck. Are you serious? I've been there before. I'll go there again. You want to take shots at my personal family? You know what I'm saying? That's the reason I went there that day. No, that's not the reason I went there that day. But, I mean, shit. It's the reason I wasn't scared to go there that day. Like, honestly, I went there to get a cheesesteak. You know what I mean? I was going, I, I, the Gilly show was the night before, and left my hotel at 11, got a cheesesteak, you know what I'm saying? Even though that's stupid as hell. Who gets a cheesesteak at 11 o'clock? But let's get back to it. So he made this joke, you know, about, I just want to say I'm not going to diss King Erner for working at the King of Prussia if he works at the King of Prussia. 
I like to shop at the King of Prussia. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with shopping at the King of Prussia. You know what I'm saying? Or I should say, there ain't nothing wrong with working at the King of Prussia. If you have a job, it's all good. You know what I mean? Personally, I don't know. You know what I mean? But for Gully TV to be reporting this on his live, I find it disrespectful. And if I was King Erner, eh, eh, I mean, come on, geez. You make a big deal about what I say. You got somebody on the internet saying you work at the King of Prussia Mall. Really? Okay. Come at me. I'll flame your ass again. Give me a reason to make a video. Give me a reason. <laughs> you know, I'm not the one saying you. I'm not the one saying in front of 15,000 fans that you work at the King of Prussia Mall. You know what I'm saying? I shop at the King of Prussia Mall. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They got a couple nice spots that I like to go. I think I think I bought my first pair of Balenciagas at the King of Prussia Mall. I didn't buy them from King Order, though. <laughs> you know, it's been a few years since they've been popping. You know, it's a cold world we live in. It's a cold world we live in when we... Uh, when a Cooper Trooper like Gully TV is telling Leek Moss that he looks terrible. Listen to this. So, so of course, Gully takes the um, diss or the uh, jab at King Erner working at the King of Prussia Mall. And he says, what's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with getting a job. You know what I mean? Okay, you could almost respect that, the fact that he would say that. But then to follow it up and say... I'm going to tell you who needs to get a job, Leek Moss. You look terrible. You know, it's a cold world. It's a cold world when a Cooper Trooper like Gully TV is telling Leek Moss that he looks terrible. That's just crazy to me, you guys. Gully TV, honestly, you're not that much better. You're not that much further off than Leek Moss. You know what I mean? You're maybe like, what, a half a centimeter above Leek Moss when it comes to freshness? Come on, let's just be real. Let's just be real. I'm not going to front on here and act like I don't watch the content that I'm talking about like you guys do. You guys always act like you don't watch content. All these rappers out there acting like they don't watch Mikey T. Everybody knows I was the hottest shit during the pandemic. Everybody knows that I inspired a lot of these rappers to want to start their own podcasts. Are you kidding me right now? You're not that much further up than Leek Moss, Gully. Who do you think you are dissing him like that? You have absolutely no freshness. The only reason you're a half a centimeter above him is because your shirt isn't off yellow. I'll be real with you. You're just as bad. You're just crusty and dusty. You're crusty and dusty, not musty. Leek moss, crusty, dusty, and musty. That's the difference between the two of y'all. Uh, Gully said, what he'd say? I don't pay no attention to them. That's what Leek had said in an interview. He doesn't pay attention to the bloggers. Gully said, what did he say? I don't pay no attention to them, but you were down on Erie Ave rolling around with Mikey T. He was rolling around with Mikey T, man. We seen you. Then you realized you were on camera. You realized you were on camera assaulting a white man. You got off him. Go pull that footage up, Leek Moss and Mikey T, when he looked around and got, and got to seeing them cameras, and he hopped off Mikey T. He knows that's an F1 in the pen. You can't win. Assault on a white man with video footage. You're out here. Five to ten. He knew it. And in response to that, like, you're stupid. You're stupid, Gully. That's not the reason. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, my little biatch. Here's the thing, my little bitch. He had nothing to be concerned about. You want to know why? Because I wasn't pressing charges. I'm not like someone like you. I'm not like you. He didn't have to worry about it. 
He didn't have to worry about it. You want to know why? Because he was beefing with a G, not you. How do you like that? How do you like that, Gully? Listen to this shit he said. Listen to this shit we're said, and we're going to go off on it. Listen to this shit he said, and we're fitting to go off on it. He said Earn was directing him. Earn, obviously, King Earner. He said Earn was directing him. He never threw a punch. He knows better. He's older. He outsmarted them. They think he was all the way in, but he was all the way out. What did he say? Whoop him, Moss. Punch him. Punch him in his shit, Moss. With your grown ass. Hey, Earn, with your grown ass standing over him, assaulting him, that white boy in broad daylight. Get him, Moss. Whip him, Moss. This is basically Gully TV actually impersonating King Erner saying all this shit. If that was me, Gully said, if that was me, they would have rolled on me. They would have peel. They would have had to peel them off of me. Mikey T had the white privilege. Mikey T stayed down there and continued his bullshit. So it looks like Mr. Cheerleader is running with the Hassan Campbell narrative, you guys. He's actually running with the white colonizer shit. You're doing that angle too? The colonizer thing, Gully? All right, I guess. Try it. You seen how that worked out for your boy, Haas? I guess you could try it, though, Gully. I guess that's the only angle you could play. I guess that's the only angle you could do with me, Gully. Do the race thing. I get it. But you want to know what? I don't think the people buy it. I don't think it's going to stick. It's not really going to work. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Gully, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. Not one person. I think you've got more people jammed up than you've got more people jammed up than me. Not one person is in jail because of me. So if you really want to go there, if you really want to go there, I think you've got more people jammed up than me if you really want to go there. Not one person. You're a sucker, homie. You've, you've got people jammed up, and that's why I don't even like when you actually say my name. I don't like when you say my name. And you know what? It's 30 million Mikey. That's my name. That's my name. I don't even want the title. I'm not the CEO of OBH anymore. I resigned. I don't want that title. I'm 30 million Mikey. 30 million Mikey before and after OBH. Nobody could help you. Nobody. Nobody could help you be lit. And you want to know what? You're actually, you're not shit by yourself. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yo, Gully. Gully. Stop. Wearing those unisex tank tops, man. Them joints look like bras. I'm just being real with you. Stop wearing them G-unit looking tank tops, man. Whoever told you they make your upper body look more like whatever buff or whatever, don't listen to their advice on me because that shit is sucio. That shit is sucio, homie. It looks, you know what I mean? Wear a regular tank top. 
wear a regular joint, preferably the baggy V-neck made popular by my guy, Bangham Smurf, who you actually probably shook the death of as well. You know what I mean? You probably shook the death of Bangham Smurf just like you shook the death of Skinny Me. That's too funny, man. And I didn't forget about how you copied my interview. I didn't forget. I will. I, <laughs> I didn't forget how you copied my interview with Bangham Smurf, man. But don't worry about it, man. A lot of people out there are inspired by my work. You know what I mean? So I don't blame you for being inspired by my work. I'm 30 million Mikey. I'm over that, really. I'm really like, yo! Iceberg, do we got to switch it if I'm really 50 million, Mikey? Like, if I really got 50 million views, do we actually got to switch it? Because if I really got 50 million views, maybe that should just be the slogan. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. We ain't on the bud ice, bro. We ain't on the bud ice, bro. We ain't on the bud ice. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. We're not on that Post Malone Bud Light either. I told y'all at the beginning of the video, I'm on the Coors Light. I made a disclaimer you know what i'm saying i made a drastic disclaimer i only buy this shit for uh a certain female at the bar don't usually buy it but i was at the package store it's all they had left i'm sorry i'm sorry you guys my bad i didn't want to be on here drinking some some fucking harpoon lemonade or something like that you know what i mean i just wanted to get a standard beer you know what i'm saying couldn't make it to the red bull spot y'all know I'm a little where's my dolja I'm going to have to call over to the next room to get my little Dolja to go out there and get me a uh, a Red Bull. You know what I'm saying? Just like Hassan Campbell used. And some now and laters. Let me hit the intercom. I'm good. We're live. I'm good. I'm good. So Gully wanted to say, let's talk further about Mikey T. You want to talk further about Mikey T, Gully? All right. You must have been ready for this flame session, man. I'm pretty sure you haven't been on the internet in like two years because of how bad I made you feel about yourself on the internet. I'm just saying, man, your content sucks. And then Gully T and then Jojo Capone actually railroaded you off the internet. Bud Ice. You guys are funny, Bud Ice. Gully said, let's talk further about Mikey T. Leek Moss, in your interview, you said, I don't want to call it extortion, but he's doing something to us and it ain't right. I just don't know what it is. You know what he's doing? He's divided, y'all, like Europeans do. He applied counterintelligence. He had you beefing with each other. He's interviewing Dark Low. He's taking shots at you, talking shit to you. Your brother is saying, nah, Leak ain't got no jurisdiction. I run OBH. And he's standing in the middle of it all, getting all the footage and all of the money. You said it yourself. He doesn't send my brother money or nothing. He is horsing you. Say it. I want you to say it with me, Gully TV said. You know what he's doing, talking about? I don't want to call it extortion. Gully said, it's not extortion. He's trimming you. He is, and your brother sided with him. I want to address this. I want to address this, man. Gilly's got this all wrong right here. Like, what? Like, what? How do you, how are you remembering history so false? First of all, the first thing I'm going to tell you is A.R. Rab gave ownership of OBH to Leak Moss. Are you stupid or are you dumb? That's why I made the whole joke video about I'm CEO of OBH. If Ab would have left me as the CEO, shit would have been right. But in all honesty, you dumbass, because you don't remember the history. But this history doesn't matter to you is the thing. The history doesn't matter to you because you were never really a part of it. Like, this is the history that could have gone down. Everybody watching this knows that OBH could have been one of the greatest labels ever. You weren't a part of it, Gully. Let that 
eat at your soul, homie, because your stupid album is called Pillmatic. If Dark if, if Dark Low ever came at me with an album called Pillmatic, I would have sent him back. Let me like hit the bricks, homie. Go hit the studio. Where's my damn charger? This guy's ridiculous, man. This guy's ridiculous. Let me see. He said that. Let me see right here. He said. He said he divided y'all. Like I started the beef. You're saying that I started the beef with Dark Low and Leek Moss. I don't think you could prove that. That's actually inaccurate. I didn't start the beef with Dark Low and Leek Moss. I actually would have loved if they would have thrived together. That would have made OBH a bigger label. Oh, but here was my point. The first person that was left in charge of OBH was who? Dark Low. He was Dark Low. Dark Low was the leader of OBH. Dark Low was the leader of OBH, you guys. And then Dark Low got locked up. I was never the leader of OBH. Leek Moss was placed in control of OBH. So Gully TV's whole statement here is just completely bullshit. He's saying he's interviewing Dark Low. He's taking shots at you. The interview that I did with Dark Low was after Johnny Mac did a video where Leek Moss bombarded the live and dissed him. Even Leek Moss knows that in his fucking mind. Are you stupid? Even Leek Moss knows that's the timeline. Are you stupid? Do you think we all just forgot what was going on? What is in your blunt? Are you smoking a woo? What's in your blunt, homie? What's in that big ass backwood? You got a you got a 2.5 in there? I know what the point five is. You sounding stupid, man. You're trying to rewrite history. I never started beef with those two guys. I remember meeting Leek Moss the same day I met A.R. Rab. He was there. So don't talk to me about some bullshit. It was unfortunate what happened to Leek Moss and myself. Leek Moss and myself didn't know each other that well. Leek Moss just didn't know I was ready to fight. You're not going to come up on me and smack me or nothing like that. Never in your life. I don't know what you think this is. Lights out if you're doing that to me. Ask Leek Moss what happened. Leek Moss can say, I don't know if I punched Mikey T. I know that I punched Leek Moss. You're not going to come up on me and smack me in no circumstance, never, without there being some type of an altercation. So miss me with that shit. Let's talk further about Mikey T. You want to talk about me, Gully? Everybody in here hit that like button. Listen to this. So this is where we were at. I don't want to call it extortion. It's not extortion, Gully said. He's trimming you. He is. And your brother sided with him. His brother never sided with me. His brother let me know that he could never side with me. I let his brother know that I have three brothers of my own. And I know another brother would never side with somebody other than their brother. I've got three brothers. Are you stupid? Are you an only child? Somebody with two or three brothers or even one brother knows that you never, you would never side with another man over your brother, no matter what. At the end of the day, you're going to work something out. If Ab was on the streets, he would have worked it out in an instant. You kidding me right now? Leek Moss just didn't know when he rolled up on me that day. It might have been a smack. It, might, it wasn't going to be that Mano MTV exclusive that he thought it was going to be. Nah. Nah. 
If you're going to take me out, you're going to take me out in blood. I don't know what you think this is. I've been fighting since I was like eight years old. I don't know if you haven't seen the Panda Chop interview. Go check out my interview with Panda Chop. Milk kind of fucked up my interview. You know what I mean? Milk, it is what it is. You do your thing, geez. I mean, you missed a lot of the points, but it is what it is. My guy Panda Chap does his thing, though. This guy comes with the correct questions. So listen to this. He said Mikey T did all of this without a pistol. These dudes is killers. These dudes is gangsters and killers. And he did this with an ink and pen, a MacBook. He never got aggressive or nothing doing this shit. His Really, man, you're some, you be saying some stupid shit on the internet, man. This dude be saying some stupid shit on the internet. Like, honestly, I'd be embarrassed to say the shit that he's saying on the internet, bro. You know this shit, like, until you delete it off of your stupid-ass YouTube page that has no merit? He says he's doing the shit his forefathers taught him and executing it and getting away with it. Like, what are you even talking about? My forefathers, like you sound stupid. Like, who thinks like that, man? Like, you are seriously offending me right now, man. Like, really? All right, man. So now I got two reasons to flame your ass on the next video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're just giving me content, bro. Like, come on. I'm a master, like, creator in my mind. I know you can't really think about shit in yours. But I create new concepts every day, every second. You know what I mean? Like, I just, based on what you said right there, I know I was doing the notes and everything earlier in the day. But now I just created a whole nother reason to do a whole nother video, geez. Like, come on, man. Thank you, G's. Thank you, G's. You know what I mean? It wasn't Gully TV season, but now it is. You know what I mean? I don't even know how you got that name to be 100 with you. Gully TV, to me, that's crazy, though. It's crazy. It's funny. But Gully TV, you're wrong. You're wrong. I never masterminded beef. I never masterminded the beef. Do you see Leek Moss? Leek Moss is running OBH. How did I leave them high and dry? I was one of the best things that happened to OBH. Shit, man. People come into my chat all the time and they say things like, I know you from AR Rab. I know you from Bangham Smurf. And then there's the day ones that they're like, come on, that's little shit to Mikey T. I know him from Rick Ross. I know him from Little Wayne. You know what I mean? Like, I got all different type of people that pop into my live videos. Stop talking about numbers, Gully. You don't want to do numbers with me, geez. You don't want to do numbers. You're like, <clears throat> you want to do numbers? <sighs> this guy wants to do numbers. The only numbers you're giving out, Gully, is lotto, geez. You're only giving out lotto numbers, man. You're like, yeah, papi, let me go, let me go, let me do the, let me do the pick seven. So how many numbers are you giving out? You're not pulling up on no shorties like, take my number. Nothing, Gully. And you know what? Another thing, Gully TV, you're actually hard to get in contact with. You're not an easy person to locate. Why are you so hard to locate, geez? You said you got businesses. You said you have LLCs. But yet you never actually name them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're the type of dude that be wearing sweatpants every day, right? Look at your room. 
Look at your room, Gully. It looks like the room of an 18-year-old, man. Lord, your room. I had to say it. I had to say it, geez. Come on, man. I hope that's only an extra room, just to be real with you, man. Your room, you look like an 18-year-old, man. I'm smoking on some Madrina cookie strain. You're a grown man, Gully. You're nearly, you're probably in your 40s. I don't know. You know what I mean? Probably over. Yeah, I don't know, Gully. I don't know where you went bad in life. I need everybody in here to hit that like button. Hit that like button if you don't know where Gully went bad in life. Some people might say it's when he uh, started beefing with Dark Low. Some people might say it's when he started beefing with Uncasa. Some people might say it's when JoJo Capone called him Girly TV. You think I forgot? The internet doesn't forget. The internet doesn't forget. Look at your room, homie. Your little 18 year old. Little 18 year old. Uh, let me ask you a question, Gully. What kind of car do you drive? You're the type that probably d drives like probably like the Dodge Charger with the Hemi. I can do the Dodge Charger with the Hemi. You, you, what are you going to do? Two wheels on the sidewalk, Gully? Because the streets are so narrow, right? You got to put the two wheels on the sidewalk. You're, you're the type that's like, I got the Charger, not the V6. I got the V8. Yeah. You got the V8, Gully? That's what you got, Gully TV. He's the type that thinks he's really getting money, and he'll pull up with his Dodge Charger Hemi. He's going to pull up right next to a Porsche and say, you want to race? Gully, are you brain dead? Are you brain dead, Gully? Hold on. I was just about to go into the next portion of the video, but I just want to apologize. My bad, y'all. I said a Dodge Charger Hemi. What I meant to say was Gully TV probably owns a Dodge Magnum Hemi. Sorry. My bad about that, you guys. For those that, that don't remember, that's the station wagon. It's got the baby chairs in the back, the station wagon with the Hemi. Don't look at me, y'all. Dodge made it, guys. Come on. Gully TV still drives that today. Yeah, you know what I mean? He drives that shit on 20s, man. And I think the rims probably cost more than the car, man. But anyways... Gully, you don't want to talk about views, bro. I've always done more views than you. There has never been a year. I don't think there's ever been a year where you did more views than me. I don't think you even ever had a video premiere. I don't think you've ever even had a video premiere on Worldstar, have you, bro? Have you ever even been on any reputable website? Have you ever even done a million views? I'm sorry, man. I'm just shitting on Gully right now, man. This guy really has got me on one. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go in on him tonight, man. This dude is something else. Talking about Mikey T. Keep my name out of your mouth, Gully. Keep my name out of your mouth, bro. I ended your career, and then, and then what did JoJo Capone do? He came in. He changed your name. He mopped you up. He even created a YouTube page that's kind of more popping than yours. Yeah, he just doesn't. I don't know if he really be going on it like that. But you know what? Listen to this. Listen to this. Gully TV said, he said, Mikey T is about to go live on you. Because someone in his chat said that. That's great for him, Gully said, because he's obviously poor. He's poor. What white man you know be out here fucking with killers in Philadelphia? What white man? Where is he from? Connecticut? Down in North Philly, rolling around with people that shoot people. That's why Leek Moss jumped off of him. Like, you got to be crazy. All right. All right. So you asked me some questions. 
Golly, you asked me some questions, and I would like a chance to answer the questions. I want a chance to answer the questions. Let's start from the top. I believe the first question was, what white man would be out here with killers in Philly? That would be me, Mikey T. Mikey T, the movie star. Why would I be out there? First of all, you acting like you know who they killed or something. You're sounding kind of suspect, Gully. Second of all, what is it to me? They're not going to kill me. I don't have beef with them. They're dope rappers. I wanted to get down with them. This dude, Gully TV, didn't know what he was talking about. I'm like, Arabs next. You're scared to be around them? Why are you scared to be around them? I'm with these guys, and we're literally splitting Popeyes. I'm smoking his Newports. What are you talking about? He doesn't seem like a bad guy to me. Sorry, man. I just don't see it. I don't see the image that you're trying to portray. You can't tell me about somebody that I know. I know skinny me. So just because, Gully, just because you're petrified, white people word, petrified of him, just like you're petrified of Mano. Yeah, you're petrified. That's my point. Just like you're petrified of both of them, man. So Gully said some bullshit about 10 toes down. Gully, what are you talking about 10 toes down for? Gully, 10 toes down is the new. He's the N E. W. He's new on YouTube. You? You've been on YouTube for like what? 10 years? You've been on it for 10 years. You have a major head start on 10 Toes Down. And you're worried about him. He's your competition? Of course you are, man. Of course you're worried about 10 Toes Down. I know you are. I know why you're worried about 10 Toes Down. Because he's the dopest shit that happened to the dirty sector of YouTube. Let's be real. Let's be real, Hassan. Uh, let's be real, Gully. We're not talking about Hassan just because we're talking about 10 Toes Down. 10 Toes Down has actually dissed you on multiple occasions too, Gully. Let's be real here. I oh, appreciate that, King. Dope content. Appreciate everybody tapped in. That's right. We're going off on Gully TV tonight. If you're just tapping in here, strain of the night is Madrina. Strain of the night is Madrina. And this portion of the video is about 10 toes down, actually. The top op of Hassan Campbell. But of course, Gully TV had to diss him. Gully TV said something along the lines of 10 toes down is a dead carcass. I'm like, what? I'm like, what, homie? He took your position, Gully. He took your whole spot online, man. Let's be real about it. You wish you were in the position that 10 toes down was on. What did I hear? You had 700 live viewers. Oh, 10 toes down usually has 1,000. That must suck. That must suck to have somebody really taking your spot like that. I feel for you, geez. You know what I mean? He came into your realm. You've been here for 10 years. You've been doing... Oh, anybody want to know what I'm smoking? You've been here for 10 years. Oh, damn it, guys. My bad. You, but Gully, you've been here for 10 years. This guy's been here for two, two, two and a half. And it doesn't matter about the YouTube followers either. Guys, my bad. This is what I was smoking tonight. I totally fucked that up, man.
I totally messed that up, you guys. I'm smoking Granddaddy Pluto. Uh, that's another cookie strain, though. I got some Madrina, too. You know what I'm saying? Gas House and Cookies. Dope-ass strain, man. Out of the two, Madrina Cookies. I'm going to go a Madrina and Granddaddy Pluto. I'm going to go Granddaddy Pluto. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I go to Cookies and Mass. Because you know I'm from Connecticut. But I got this other Madrina, which is cool as well. But, I mean, I probably, I have like a... You know, I have like a few eighths of it, and I only have a a gram, or I should say a Dutch left of the Granddaddy Pluto. And what's the other one I finished? Let me try to think. Excuse me, guys, from getting away from the content. But I appreciate y'all for tapping in on the podcast. And... Hopefully soon I will be getting it up on all the, uh, you know, streaming services. But um, <clears throat> what's the other one that I got? Because I had another one with that Granddaddy Pluto. Oh, it's called Blood Orange. It was all right. It wasn't too spectacular, to be real with you. But, Gully, why are you talking about Ten Toes Down, man? I said it once, I'll say it again. He took your spot, Gully. He took your spot, Gully. Right from under your nose. The thing about you, Gully, is that you really couldn't stay consistent. You know what I mean? You started off all right. You know, Gully, I don't know. I don't know, man. I really think you're actually better off just to do a sports channel. Do you think you could possibly do a sports channel like Cameron and Mace? Do they do it like they are doing? You know what I mean? Because you seem to know a lot about sports. I'm giving you some advice here, homie. Use that in your favor. Use that in your favor because you, what do you do? You just hate on Philly dudes. You know what I mean? Your channel isn't really all that much about music. It's mostly kind of sports stuff. You got all types of sports stuff sprinkled in there to where you're doing your live videos. Kind of like how uh, West Side Gun does with wrestling. You know, sometimes you do it a little bit overboard, though. But, you know what I mean? What you do, sometimes you look like a clown. I'll be real. So one other thing that Gully TV said, he said, it makes me question if they're even brothers for real. I wouldn't have let my brother go out like that. I would have been riding that shit. He said, Dark Low hurt the brand. We'll get into that. But he said, I would have been riding that shit. You know why it makes you question that? You know what I mean? You want to know why you dumbass? It's because Ab knows his brother. Ab knows his brother Leek. Ab knows the pa- the person that he is. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you? It makes me question if they're even brothers for real. I wouldn't have let my brother go out like that. I would have been riding that shit. First of all, like, Leek was riding that shit at first. Leek was riding that shit just like your lame-ass Gully TV would have rided that shit. The problem was there was no follow-up. That's what the problem was. So what are you even talking about, man? We all know you would have rode it. You were looking for any type of entrance into the music industry. Didn't you... 
use somebody else's YouTube video or something at the beginning of your career. I just want to point out that I never used anybody else's content in my career and put it on my YouTube page. I always went out there and filmed when I filmed with Freaky Zeke from Dipset. You know what I mean? When I filmed with Domination, when I filmed with No, when I filmed with, you know what I mean? All these different major acts like Vado and you know what I'm saying? Like I always filmed with them and shit. Not really sure what you were doing, homie, but you talk about you be behind the camera. You be behind the camera, right? You always seem like you're on front of the camera to me. To be a hundred with you, you always seem like you're in front. Your most popular content, it really seems like it's in front of the camera. I saw you sitting with um, Royce the Five Nine, but was your Royce the Five Nine really as informative as mine? Like, you know, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's like, why was my J Hood interview on World Star and yours doesn't do anything? You can't answer any of the questions that I give to you. But, guys, my apologies. The store ran out. They had nothing better, so I had to grab the Coors Light. Just letting you all know. Uh, but let me see. I think we had some questions in here. I think we had some questions. That's right. It is pay-per-view. That's right, but that good smoke in the air. I don't think I'm going to roll up anything more tonight. Where my bottle of wine at, Mikey? Uh, nah, man, those are bottles of champagne for anybody that's um wondering. Uh, we got the Dom Perignon back there. We got the Vouv Clico. We got the Vouv Clico Rosé. You know what I mean? And uh, I think we, oh, yeah, we also got the, um, the Moet Rosé. Shout out to North Philly. Everybody in the chat right now, put your city and state in the chat. I'm going to shout y'all out. Tapping in from L.A. Salute to L.A. Appreciate you for tapping in, J-Dub, man. If you hear this on the rewatch, that's what's up. I'm shouting you out on the podcast, man. Shout, uh, salute to L.A. Um, yeah, Gully TV is definitely a sucker. Yeah, man, uh, Gully TV has done some questionable things in his career, man. Gully TV um, has done some things that have compromised his career, in my opinion. And then he wants to talk about numbers. Look at my YouTube channel and look at his YouTube channel and tell me who has better numbers on their page. I've done 250,000 views on one single video this year, and I don't know. I don't think he has. I think he had a height of like 38,000. I mean, I topped out. I did a video, did like 50,000 over five videos. We're not going to get into that. I ain't going to 50 cent y'all with the numbers. Salute to Philly. Philly Fs with Mikey T. They don't mess with Gully. Okay, salute to Philly. You know, I love Philly. Philly's like a, Philly's like definitely like a second home to me. Or like Gilly would say, a third home since I'm like Connecticut, Florida, Philly. You know what I'm saying? Pennsylvania. Not like I went to Penn State or anything, you guys. You know what I mean? My connection from Philly really comes back to like the early uh, early 2010s, traveling out there to do interviews. And then when I still lived in Florida, I would drive up from Florida to still do interviews with Gilly the Kid and shit. You know, I really loved it out in Philly, man. It's an amazing place to go. That's why, like, I would always go, like, to the Bat Cave. I would always go to Max's. You know what I mean? I would always go to my guy, uh, a lot of different people's studios, man. Uh, you know, Bump had a studio. You know what I mean? Pop had a studio. A lot of different places I would be going out there. Pandemic pandemic came, you guys. Um, Gilly the Kid blew up. Arab got locked up. And that forced me to jump on the internet like this in reality. You know what I mean? A lot of the guys that I was actually working with and creating content with, AR Ab, I was doing a lot of content with Ab. I was doing a ton of content with Gilly. I was doing a ton of content with Dark Low. So right there, that's a literally like three hours worth of content a month that I would be doing. And uh, the fact that they all had different things happen in their career, 
made me have to jump on the internet. Let me see. Yeah, look. Look, I don't know if we, uh, Woke and Ready TV is going to watch this on uh, demand or if Woke and Ready TV is still in the building. If you're in the building right now, make sure you shout out your city and state and make sure you add a question if you got one from Mikey T, the movie star. But he said, if anything, I would think OBH would be extorting you. It, like, in reality, I can joke around about the situation all I want, but it was really just a collaborative effort. Did I offer to send ARAB some money? Of course I did, man. The dude is locked up in jail. Anybody that I've ever known that I've worked with in the music industry that has been incarcerated, I have offered to send money. Domination, ARAB. Aside from that, there's not too many other. I don't think there's anybody else really that I've known personally that has been locked up. You know what I mean? Um, and I did send Domination money. I asked ARAB if I could send him any money, if there was anything that I could do for him. Arab told me no. The what I was doing for him was keeping his name alive. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Um, as far as the extortion thing goes, man, that's kind of ridiculous to even say because we were all just helping one another. You know, I started getting falling in line and helping Dark Low when Ab was locked up. So when Ab came home, Ab was familiar with that because we kept OBH's name alive together. <clears throat> Appreciate you, Mike. That's love right there. Everybody that's in here, make sure you hit the uh, chat. Let me know what city and state you're tapping in from. Shout out, shout out, shout out, 34 Chestnut. Shout out, 3rd and 8th Diamond District. Shout out, shout out 34 Chestnut, shout out 38th and Diamond District. That's what I'm talking about there, Laura and Rex Money. I don't know if y'all are still watching. Um, said, am from the Bronx, but Philly showed me love. Time I spend out there, won't lie. Well, if you have missed one of my last videos, I actually addressed that. I actually addressed that where people were talking about the whole where Hassan Campbell was actually talking about the Philly and Bronx thing. Ooh. Ah. Shout out to North Carolina. Appreciate North Carolina tapping in tonight. Make sure you hit that like button if you're in here and also drop your city and state. North Carolina, what's up? You know, that's funny. I was listening to an interview that uh, my guy Adam22 did with um, JT, the bigger figure, and he was talking about that whole situation with juvenile and cash money. That'd be interesting, actually. Thought I just had in my mind. You know, because I've always been trying to find out a way to work with Adam22 properly. Interesting. But yeah, JT the big figure popped up there and he talked about how Juvenile was going to sign with Death Row. And that's interesting that North Carolina is in the building because of course, because of course, Petey Pablo from uh, North Carolina, I believe. I mean, at least he had the single called North Carolina. I don't know if he was actually from there off the top of my head. I wasn't the biggest Petey Pablo fan. You know what I'm saying? But he actually ended up doing a deal with Death Row. That's crazy. Yeah, Leak has bars. Leak has bars. You know what I mean? When I'm talking about wasted talent, though, bro, I'm talking about someone who, like, really was trying to do something and the talent just went to waste. Wouldn't necessarily call Leak that. Because I tried to offer him some guidance. You know what I mean? Damn, maybe I do got to roll another L. I tried to offer him some guidance, but it just didn't work out, man. 
And, you know, I do want to uh, apologize, though, for disrespecting this homie Rock, because that was just wrong with me. One time I got on the phone and I just felt kind of underappreciated. I was like, bro, don't you know who the fuck I am? Ask him. Ask the OBH guys. Mikey T got on the phone with them like, don't you know who the fuck I am? I fucking did that. That was me. So dudes want to get shit misinterpreted. I mean, I don't give a fuck who I'm getting loud with. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Let's be real about this whole situation, man. I was trying to help OBH. So I wasn't going to be disrespected by anybody. Laura and Rex said, Leak don't go hard with music. If he didn't, the boy would be different. He can spit. Spit some bars, Mikey T. Nobody's touching low. I mean, how can you touch Dark Low when he just keeps releasing new projects? He dropped Blood in My Eye this year. He dropped Charlie Pope Part 2 to follow up last year. Charlie Pope with v -Don. Like, how can you touch the man who just keeps releasing albums? You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't. When you going to review Charlie Pope 2? Oh, shit. Maybe we'll do that this weekend. Maybe we'll do that this weekend. I'll reach out to SV Twiz. Um, bro, if you're still in the chat, let me know. Do you think I should get like a panel to review it? Or do you think I should do just a review with me and Twiz? Or should we get a whole panel? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Hit that like button. Make sure you share this video one time if you support the channel. When you going to interview Philly critic Monty Woodgrain? Uh, Mike, hit my DM. Hit my DM. Put me on game, bro. Let's get it. All right. This is. Dark Low second in charge. Yep, he was. Talk the talk says Dark, uh, excuse me, not Dark Low. Leak Moss can spit and I like his flow. Dark Low is a better songwriter. Dark Low is a better songwriter. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Top five from Philly. Uh, top five from Philly. I guess we're gonna go Meek Beans. Meek Beans. Ab, Freeway, Gilly. That's my top five from Philly. Top 10 rappers ever. Uh, it's going to be Pac, Big, DMX, Eminem, Nas, 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, Snoop Dogg, Jadakiss, Outcast, Top 10. Rest in peace, Cheese. Rest in peace, Cheese. Very good dude. Very good dude. Rest in peace, young brother. You know what I'm saying? I had the opportunity to meet Cheese on several occasions. I consider it a blessing to actually have been, you know, in his company, to actually got to talk to him. You know what I mean? 
it was definitely an honor to get to meet him and talk to him and you know hear some of his thoughts and you know what his some of his desires were and shit that's something you get to hear as somebody that interviews people you know what i mean even if you're not interviewing them at the time they know you interview people um whereas gilly introduced me to his son mac you know what i mean uh and told him about what i do i got the feeling that when i met cheese he already had known what i did and shit like that you know what i'm saying so definitely rest in peace to him always you know what i mean anybody that i ever got a chance to build with you know what i mean i always remember that you know what i mean i always consider it a great opportunity you know what i'm saying like i had interviewed black rob and then i also came across him again on another occasion so you know what i mean rest in peace black rob i always enjoyed the opportunity to just meet up with a different artist and shit like that guys you know what i mean i never take this for granted so that's what i was smoking on granddaddy pluto baby this shit is lit this shit is lit i'm not gonna lie but the how much do i got in here oh shit we lit all right so yeah no i got some other madrina too but the granddaddy pluto i'm running out of that that was only a seven uh smalls too i'm not i'm not bougie you guys you know what i mean uh i want to get that oh hold on where are we at next shout out shout out we got connecticut in the building we got connecticut in the building much love to ct yo 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 what up what up what up stacks what's popping g's appreciate you tapping in bro and supreme appreciate you guys tapping in all right, y'all, I'm about to get up out of here for the night, and I will tap in with y'all on the next exclusive live video. Um, everybody that's watching, I want you to follow me on the gram. It's Mikey T underscore the movie star. Whoever follows me based on this video, I'll shoot y'all follow back, man. Yeah, man. It was a great live video tonight, man. Um, Gully, you shouldn't have said my name, man. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have mentioned my name, geez. Like you shouldn't have. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know, right now I'm focused, man. I'm focused, man. And I had a little bit of uh, off time. You know what I'm saying? I had a little bit of off time. We just got done with Hassan Campbell, so it was only right since you want to come out here and you want to put out miss wrong information. Say I started beef divided and conquered with a couple guys that honestly would have served my best interest if they had worked out together. You played yourself, homie. You played yourself. What can I say? What can I say? Hope everybody enjoyed the video. I'm up out of here for tonight. Peace.